The Tachyons have determined the trajectory of my final egg. It won't be within our reach for some time. A fortunate delay, according to Petra. She and the Tekians have... a plan. Guardians complain of the nature of Ahamkara, that we hoard secrets like you hoard weapons. Then, you understand us. Why demand a river flow uphill? We all have our settled natures. This is an Ahamkara's. Once, it was Queen Mara's. She's been working to change herself, altering the river's course. I'm forced to trust this new Mara, despite what I am, as are you, despite what you are. You and I will see where the river flows. Guardian, I'm glad you're here. I've been thinking about what Riven said. If we have to pin all our hopes on a single person, there's one obvious choice. But, I think I have a better idea. Now hear me out. If you go through the portal, there's no way we can send anyone in after you. You'd be out there on your own. But Mara and I share a bond. Even across the Ascendant Plane, I can always sense where she is. And the same goes for her. So, let me do it. If I go through the portal, Mara can use our connection to guide everyone through to, well, wherever I end up. I plant the beacon, and you come and kick the door down. Please, Guardian, I have to believe I was reforged in the light for a purpose. I can do this. We can do this. I just have to tell Mara. The final egg lies in the heart of the confluence, where the Queen's throne sits in the Dreaming City. It's hidden in a far corner, inaccessible except through the dormant Oracle engine. Reactivating the engine would be trivial, if not for the Vex. We've been spending our focus on claiming eggs, while the soul divisive encircles our walls. Another threat to this system, and it's the Reef and its people that pay for it once again. War always comes with a cost, but every day seems to bring a new one. There's never time to rebuild. When this is done, if we're still standing, the Reef and its people come first for me. I hope I'll have your support in that. Locate the Vex Oracles preventing us from accessing the Oracle Engine. Destroy them. Then we can get on with this bargain. The Witness lies just beyond our reach. How long has it been since I last set foot within these halls? An isolated throne overlooking an endless cosmic expanse. A symbol of who I once was. Distant. Detached. Inscrutable. But as my brother has changed, so too have I. No longer do I sow solitude and reap remorse. I choose, instead, to trust. I have no further need for this chamber, but with the Oracle Engine restored, we can reach the heart of the Confluence and the final egg. Return for now. When the time comes, we will complete our bargain and trust Riven to keep her word. Why is your first inclination ever to charge headlong into danger? Because you're always keeping an eye on me. You have fallen from my sight before. I may lose you. It is impossible to know the probability of success. 
but uh... don't give me that this is exactly like something you do yes Queen Mara you are not sending him Osiris no of course but if he were to reach the other side your connection like the traveler in the veil was forged in a collision of light and dark it is a it is a tangible thing we do not know that it would remain so whoever goes more than likely goes alone our problem has always been focused by aligning your and crow's connection with the veil entangled on either side of the traveler i believe i can forge a bridge between you one we could all traverse safely i'd be a flare in the darkness for osiris then we call in the cavalry you could find me in the storm sister tell them where to go do you know what you are asking the guardian would be but a step behind him i cannot keep you from your purpose I cannot control this. And so, I put my trust in you. All of you. You will return to me. Let's get to work. How do you propose we compensate for the quantum? You won't be but a step behind him, will you? Take care of him. The Queen and her brother, they impressed me. I appreciated their natures, Mara's skill in crafting wishes, her self-controlled cleverness. Aldrin's ambition, his endless struggle for a greater prize to lay at his sister's feet. Now they have reached beyond their original natures, all for the greater good. Altruism. It's too rich for my blood. Too risky. Such vulnerability. And for what payoff? Still, the altruists can be even more dangerous to their enemies than the ambitious. If self-preservation isn't a concern, what can stop you? If you can't be predicted, how can you be countered? Dangerous. But that Danger can be compelling, don't you find? Are you sure you want this? Osiris thinks it's the best shot we've got. You didn't answer my question. I don't know. <laughs> I've been trying to find what I want my whole life, even as Aldrin. I used to think the Traveler gave me purpose. Aldrin thought his came from you. I never meant to twist you so, only to keep you safe. My protection turned malignant. For that, I am sorry. It wasn't just you. Aldrin heard your heartbeat and chose to make that his core. He mistook impulse from meaning. I won't. So, I guess it's not that I want this. I need it. I believe in it. And even if I don't make it, everyone else just might. I sacrificed you before to preserve a chance for a future. I can't do that again. I'll be fine, as long as you and I stick together. Remember, Rega? Still subsisting off stories of hope and bravery. I have missed you. <laughs> I guess I always have been one to fill my head with nonsense, right? Your hope is not nonsense. It is a vital line of sustenance. 
one I have learned through our people. Fill your heart with it, and I will keep you in mine until you return to me. I will. Go then. Find purpose of your own, and not one of mine or anyone else's making. Thank you, sister. You'll see me again. And this time, I'll remember you.